What's up, Rules? I'm Lawrence Brooks IV, and welcome to a new semester of Rue News, where we bring you the latest from around campus and Kansas City every Tuesday. After 20 years and $2.26 trillion in defense spending to support the war on terror in response to the terrorist attacks of 9-11, the Biden administration and its allies have committed to ending America's forever war in Afghanistan. America's former ally during the Cold War, who turned foe in the late 1990s, the Taliban, has taken control of the country and its government at a rapid pace over the last several weeks. The offensive by the religious extremist group began days before the Doha Agreement brokered in July 2020 by the Trump administration and the Taliban was set to expire. After the Taliban seizure of the capital, Kabul, the devolving and dangerous situation has forced the U.S. military to ramp up evacuation efforts at an unprecedented level. Since operations began on, began on August 14th, they have successfully removed 113,500 diplomats, DOD personnel, and refugees from the region. 13 U.S. service members representing the Marines, Army, and Navy, respectively, were killed in a suicide bombing attack by ISIS-K outside of the heavily defended Kabul airport. Marine Corps Lance Corporal Jared M. Schmitz from St. Charles, Missouri, was one of the victims in Thursday's attack, said the Defense Department on Saturday. It's week two of classes here at UMKC, and we are back in person since COVID-19 sent us online back in March of 2020. Though many professors are meeting their students face-to-face, -face, masks are still required indoors, and social distancing measures were put in place before students return. In an interview with Rue News reporter Lindsay Tamont, Provost Lundgren reminded UMKC that vaccinations are not required for a return to campus, but they are encouraged. Four COVID-19 cases have already been reported on campus, and Rue News would like to remind everyone to wear their mask and maintain social distancing in order to keep our campus safe. Now, let's turn to Connor Stewart for sports. Thanks, Lawrence. The newly crowned number one player of the NFL Network's top 100 list, Patrick Mahomes, led the Chiefs to victory against the Minnesota Vikings in their last preseason contest on Friday. Mahomes was impressive on his only two drives of the game, completing 8 of 9 passes for 117 yards and 2 touchdowns. One of which was a 35-yard bomb to speedster Tyree Kill, who left former Chiefs defensive back Brashad Breland in his dust for the score. Finishing the preseason undefeated and with much confidence on both sides of the ball, the Chiefs look to carry over the success into the regular season. Their first test comes on September 12th against their budding rivals, the Cleveland Browns, on opening day, who lost to the Chiefs in, a in the AFC Divisional round of the playoffs last season. Back to you, Lawrence. That's all we have for this week. Don't forget to subscribe to Rue TV. Make sure to follow Rue News on Instagram and check out unews.com for more news from around campus and Kansas City. I'm Lawrence Brooks IV. Stay safe, stay clean, and we'll see you next time.